Today's honorary Bachelor of Applied Studies degree is, as Alvina just said, awarded to Ms. Kathy Corsetti. Kathy Corsetti graduated from Humber's Law Clerk Program in 1977 and has built a highly successful career in which she has specialized in both landlord and tenant board work and small claims court work. In addition to co-founding and becoming the president of Corsetti Paralegal Professional Corporation and Associates, Kathy has been recognized with a considerable number of appointments and accolades. Among her many accomplishments, Kathy was elected to the Law Society's Paralegal Standing Committee in 2010 and was the committee chair for five years. More recently, Kathy was elected as a bencher at the Law Society. Kathy is also a Law Society Tribunal Adjudicator of the Discipline and Appeal Hearings and was a judge in the Paralegal Cup moot competitions that were held at Humber's Lakeshore Campus in both 2013 and 2014. President Whitaker, Ms. McKinney, it is with great honour and pleasure that we ask you to confer upon Ms. Kathy Corsetti this Bachelor of Applied Studies degree. Thank you and welcome everyone. Distinguished uh, platform party graduates, friends and family, welcome and congratulations. As a Humber alumni myself who in 1977 walked on this very stage with all my family in the audience, I never dreamt that one day I would be chosen to receive this honorary degree on Convocation Day. In fact, since it feels like yesterday that I was at my own convocation, I could never have imagined that my choice in career would today be a prestigious, regulated profession by the Law Society of Upper Canada, and that I would be a pioneer in developing that profession. To the Humber College Board of Governors who felt I was worthy of this award, I am very humbled. As a Humber alumni, this means more to me than any of my career accomplishments. Thank you. To the friends and family of the graduates, you have the right to be so proud today as this is a significant career achievement. And on behalf of the graduates, thank you for all your support that made this day possible. Your being here today is a combination of both their success and yours. To the graduates, I say this, look forward to what the future will bring. Take every day as an opportunity to learn and meet members of whatever profession you have chosen. They will be the ones that might be a mentor, a possible contact, and a step towards your future career development. When they are with you, you need to stop, really listen, catch your breath, and hear what they are saying to you. They have lived it and they know, and their advice just may be the foundation of your future. Embrace every opportunity that comes your way. These opportunities might happen by accident, but when they do, don't be afraid to say yes. Saying yes can and will open doors. Saying yes may bring amazing opportunities that you could have never imagined. I remember 10 years ago, completely out of the blue, receiving a call from the Law Society of Upper Canada, asking if I would come and discuss the possibility of paralegal regulation. I went, feeling very intimidated, thinking, why do they want to hear from me? But I put on my best suit, thinking at least if I look good, it won't matter that I don't know why I was there. <laughs> but then something happened. They listened to me. They wanted to hear what I had to say, and I'm so glad that I said yes. It opened doors that I had no inkling even existed. I'm now in my fifth year on the Board of Directors at the Law Society of Upper Canada. I am a bencher. They do listen to me in earnest, all because I said yes some 10 years ago. Back in 1977, whilst I was walking onto the stage, as you all soon will, I would not have believed that I'd be part of the development of a new profession that would be 
in the position to help develop policy that affects lawyers, paralegals, and the public. And yet, here I am, a testament to what you can achieve as a Humber graduate. Congratulations. As your career is in its infancy stage, what the future holds, only time will tell. No doubt with some obstacles, but don't fear those obstacles, because every obstacle is an opportunity to learn. In fact, those obstacles have empowered me. They allow me to step up to show what I can do. They have allowed me to live the dream I dreamt back in 1977 on graduation day a dream to help people with their legal needs and to be, service of, to be of service to my profession. Your career will also be filled with spectacular accomplishments. You need to find what makes your work life rewarding. For me, it was and continues to be simple, helping people. You must be receptive to change and new experiences, even when you don't know the outcome. I remember my first time appearing in court. I was not prepared to what I believe today paralegal should be when appearing in court. But I went, knees shaking. I did my best, remembering what my supervisor lawyer, lawyer had mentored me in. I did it. I'll be honest to say I was not successful. However, I learned from that failure, and it prepared me for many, many successful outcomes. It will be an exciting adventure filled with valuable learning experiences, and who knows, it might end up one day being on this stage like it has for me, being presented with this prestigious degree. After graduation, I started working part-time as a paralegal with a company that actually paid me less than my then current job. One of my classmates told me about this part-time job posted in the Humber Student Placement Office. She wasn't interested since the pay was only minimum wage. We all think once we've graduated, we deserve a job that pays more than minimum wage. However, I took that job, and that job was a stepping stone to me starting my own paralegal business in 1980. I remember how apprehensive I was some 35 years ago, opening, putting out my shingle. And I remember my father saying, how are you going to pay the rent? I think like most parents, he was just hoping he wasn't going to have to pay my rent. <laughs> I was scared, not knowing if I would succeed. I remember every time a client called thinking, oh good, I'll be in business next month again. But now, from that minimum wage job, I've retained a client for now over 35 years. I've dealt with the owner, the owner's son, and now his grandson. So to my former classmates who didn't want that minimum wage job, I guess I've shown them. Saying yes to a job, not a great job. It was a path of, that I could have never envisioned. I've seen many changes since I stepped off this stage to now see paralegals being regulated by the Law Society and turning what was once an unregulated job to a highly regarded profession. I've turned my part-time minimum wage job into a successful paralegal business where I now employ four licensed paralegals and I'm elected bencher with the Law Society and citizen adjudicator on the discipline hearing. My point of telling you these stories is to be successful in business, is to be successful with building relationships. And this is how you, in my opinion, will succeed regardless what career path you take. Congratulations on your graduation and thank you for letting me speak at this exciting event at the start of your career. I'm honored to be here congratulating some of you that will soon be my colleagues, many who I already know and respect and hope that you will all succeed in business and that your career dreams come true. In closing, say yes to those opportunities, even if unsure, as you won't know where that path might lead you. Thank you and congratulations.